Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox. I will be showing you how to re-roll your account in Alliance Heroes of the Spire. So you just hold press on the Alliance uh, icon. Then you go in App Info. This is for Android. Now you go in Storage. Then you will clear the cache and you will clear the data. You see this includes all file settings, account, databases. Let's go. Okay. So this is done. Close this. Go in the game. Now you have to download the game data again. Unfortunately, I don't think it's too long. <clears throat> so I mean, on the first account, there was really nothing special that I pulled. Uh, I made gameplay videos uh, up to episode five. Uh, got to got to the first part of the campaign. Gave a bunch of uh, tricks for how to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, min-max your gameplay, I'd, I'd say. Now, um, I will see how long, how much of a pain it is to actually get a good hero. Uh, try to figure out where the best... Uh, when is the best time to actually re-roll the account? There's multiple ways to do it. Like the best way would of course be to go for a uh, order and chaos poll and just do it until you get the five star. Um, best way to do it would be during the login reward, the fifth day you get the order and chaos uh, scroll poll. So you would use on a computer the Nox uh, program and uh, create one installation of uh, Android uh, with your uh, email whatever uh, have do not install the game uh, actually the game can be installed you just don't go inside it and worst case on the other when you start because um, you can clone the installation so you just clone and then you just go like the settings I show you showed you guys in the app info storage and then uh, you just clear the cache and clear the data in case uh, you're not making new accounts every time you uh, you clone the, the, the device so I would do like 50 like uh, even even <laughs> Like uh, even a hundred. Basically, you log in in each one every day up to day five. I know it's crazy, but that's how you you would pull a five star uh, order in chaos for free. And then you just link whichever account uh, you're uh, happy with. You just link it to your uh, your Google account, and that's it. Then you just play the game. I'm sure people spend thousands of dollars to even attempt to get a five star order and chaos hero. But the way I'm gonna do it here is just do it until I get the, uh, just a normal uh, uh, fire, nature or water five star. I will be making a series on uh, my progress on re-rolling or just go through it just make a video on each reroll try to figure out the best place like if, if you factor in the time it takes to <clears throat> download the the game um, and then go through like the small tutorial uh, you know you have to to add all this that time
first you need to figure out if you will enjoy this game and if you will stick to it then you uh, you go uh, however crazy you want to to be with the re-rolling but you could just not re-roll and uh, do perfectly fine in the game you'll eventually get five stars okay so here we are play let's see So that's it, we're back at it again. This will be quite annoying to repeat. That's one of the advantage of, uh, I mean, making a bunch of accounts and just logging in. You don't need to make like 50 or 100 accounts, you could just have like 10 accounts and uh, you could like casually play those 10, 10 accounts until you get a uh, 5 star on one of them. <laughs> Even just 5 accounts, like 3 accounts you'll eventually get something like a 5 star now we'll see here here it is the exact same heroes yep it's all predetermined already okay not these guys the gem summon Unfortunately there's, unfortunately, there's no way to skip the tutorial, but they give you free summons, so you have to you have to make your army, you know. So here he is, the four star that we get. Okay, now this guy, I did not have him. Right? Because I had fire, fire, wind, wind last time. I did not have this guy. So you know what? It could be possible that you can actually pull a 4 or 5 star <clears throat> on that initial pull. Or it could just be that... You know, the guy. this guy was actually water. And, and the, the other account that guy it was the fire version of him so maybe you just get randomly uh, either fire water or uh, nature but i don't think it's worth anyways if you can pull a five star on the, that first one it's not worth doing because you, you have to account for the time you're clearing the the data the cache and then you're redownloading all the game Since I'm recording a video, we can ex like know exactly how long it takes. I was not fast enough. I was not fast enough on this one. Like I was just checking the skills on the hero. <laughs> Loading times. Uh, like I'm recording so I guess it's not helping there but if you're playing this game on an emulator on a good computer you will be loading much faster why is the speed resetting to 1? I hope it saves
So we got an epic core right there. It's gonna tell me to go summon already, yes. This is gonna be predetermined already. Will it be? Vicious. Sounds like the guy I had before, so. I had this guy, but he was not fire, he was... He was the wind version. So you just get random... The same guy is just ra a, f a random element. Still resetting at... Do I have to do three and then play for it to save? already we'll just uh, push through with this setup I won't even bother putting gear on I just want to see where can we where can we get made I mean I might have pulled better unit than let's see you guys like maybe the water version and the fire version of the heroes I just got are stronger than the other elements but from what I remember the zone that was causing an issue was the fourth one the boss stage but even before that boss I was starting to take quite a bit of damage so maybe a reset after zone 3 is the best place also you should join a guild as soon as you can because I believe I got two two summons just by joining a guild Why can we not do next stage? Because we're still doing tutorial, I think. We can have 40 heroes, so we can just go crazy here. Bunch of one stars and twos. Alright. So, so far, we got two hero cores and one gem summon, and they were all, they are predetermined poles. The archer is win here, like my other account. The guy with the gun, he was wind, I think, and the guy that's water was fire. Now, let's just hope we get the free, the free stuff again when we reset the account I mean I don't see why not uh, the first one I got maybe you have to open the shop for it to pop up or maybe it's just gonna pop up by itself with the freebies I'll just open the shop after this Or 
I'm just doing next map here real quick. This is the boss. Let's just get it over. Oh, there it is. So it popped up uh, thematically. The double XP bo booster can last 99 days, so do not worry. Just leave it in your inbox until you're, uh, you're, you have a bunch of energy saved up. Uh, let's say you pull a 5 star, you're saving all your gems at that point and then you will use uh, energy refill. I think you get something like like 100 energy back when you buy it. It's like 40 gems from what I heard. It might be old news, it might be different now. You, uh, I think you receive some, some, something else beside the energy, I can't remember. Well, the three, three x three speed saved but to save it i had to put it on x3 and then press play if i did play and then change the speed it would not save now here i don't have the boss on auto attack it might be in the options to have it auto first area is completed let's see what happens a hundred gems so we got we got a pull right here yes yes search for zone let's just thank you collect here some normal pulls one two three start now let's go in the inbox and see what's up so at this point we can do one pull from gems. Let's check. Did not pop for the deities are done really quickly. We're close to to have enough gem for a second pull. Let's just go and do it now. Okay, let's just do this. Is this guy predetermined as well? No, this is the first time I get this uh, hero. Can I hold? Can I check her? What is this? Going. I will check how good the the hero is. After this. I might just start leveling her. If she's a support. Okay, let's just join the alliance now. You see a pick hero core right there. No, here's the other thing. Go on base. Alliance, sorry, bottom left. Taking a while to load. Okay, Alliance XP contribution. You contribute for free. Wait, no. And if you contribute for gold, 
I had a quest complete by doing this. Okay, I'm losing internet here. That's not going good. I will have to continue after I get internet and start like have to trim and merge videos together. Okay, I'll stop the recording now. Or actually, I'll just pause it. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, let's do the... I don't think that's how I got the quest completed. Wait, oh, I got it complete here. No, this... This was not it. So let's just go and pull here. Chilong. I had that guy. He could always be. Uh, he could be that hero that like, always the same one when you join the guild. That's unfortunate if we're rolling actually. Let's go through this zone. Check her if she's good. Doesn't look good. 22% must have. long <coughs> load screen this is so long Let's just button this and okay. It's unfortunate we cannot go to the next map. <clears throat> you should just have the next map button and then straight up go inside it and just have us press the button to confirm the energy cost and start the battle. Also while doing that they should start preloading the zone. I'm gonna tell them how to make a game, but... That play button though, I need to like auto-play. Might be in the options. The options were quite limited last time I checked. <clears throat> I mean, it does do all that, it's just that it's a bit slow and there's massive load times. Now the auto attack. That's odd. Actually, maybe it's because I was pressing the button myself and I was not letting the game uh, do its thing. We'll test it. So 
Go here and then you do next map and you just wait. Opens and then I just press battle. Then the auto battle is on again, so just let the game do its thing. If you're doing using Nox in related to just reroll multiple accounts, you could just make a script to play the game basically up to uh, where you want uh, to stop rerolling. Unless you're going for just slogging five days in a row and then pulling the Order and Chaos and have at the seventh day you get the four to five star legendary pull. Level four we get the next ship. And we get the Yeah, they first uh, force us to uh, do this here. It's okay, it's 30 minutes. Is this epic? So we got we got an epic core from the login. I had this game on the other account. Let's keep on going. Now the auto battle is going to be off. This auto battle thing is going to be pretty nice when farming uh, dungeons that are... Actually the auto plays on now. I have to click through all this. I'll wait it turned up. Let's see, uh, this guy evolved in evolution with to 5 star. Ah, uh, it's not an XP with an evolution with. Oh, okay. It's, it's food to uh, turn a 5 star into a 6 star. You need, most likely you need 5 5 star. Maybe this game requires 6, I don't know. Okay, so after this area, I hope we can do another pull. This is the second area. Oh wait, that was not the boss, I think. This was just that chapter six. Yeah, there's seven chapters. There was something else in the previous playthrough that, uh, I'll play through, yeah. up to episode five. I could have went back to the first area and increased the difficulty and maybe uh, I would be able to complete it. I think I might have been strong enough at that point. But that would... Uh, you can do it after zone 3 and you can somehow get uh, some gems or uh, like ep epic uh, summoning to get uh, potentially a 4 or 5 star. So it's worth taking a look. I think the first stage the monster was like level 20, low 20. The boss stage might be tricky though. Frostbite Mountains, the next one.
Mm. Can't remember if doing one arena battle actually gave us something. Something uh, for summoning. I do not believe so, but we'll test it. happening base epic oh Petra Petra is uh, really strong from what I'm hearing so oops let's go back here barrack Petra info you see 94 percent so it's a must-have attack with a 10% chance to stun your target for one turn. If your target HP is below 30%, the stun chance increased 20% to bonus damage based on your max HP. Remove all debuff from yourself and heal yourself 30% of your HP. All ally gain 10% extra XP from combat. Okay, that's really nice. Place a shield on all ally worth 20% of the stone giant's max HP that lasts for three turns. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing, and the effect duration is increased by one turn. Wow. So you go crazy on, like, increase your max HP on this guy, and then it will make a pretty damn strong shield. A 30% 30, 30 shield after uh, uh, scaling up twice here. And then this is... Wow. Wow. You can, like, really tank and he can basically he can solo stages and you will get extra xp so when you auto battle after oh okay that's why that's why he's amazing so we might just get him later on in the game for free Is it this guy? How can you know when the... Yes. So after this area, I'm just gonna, I'll move on to the second reroll. So we just got one pull from completing this area where we are 25 gems shy from another pull. So by completing this area, we might get another epic summoning stone and then Maybe enough gems to uh, to do two pulls. struggle already yeah this does not look too good I have to focus this guy Petra is okay Petra is fine
Selling items give a lot of gold. I don't know how important gold is in this game, but looks like it, it will be quite important. So for the calculation on summons, it's something like, so far, actual random summons might be between three and four. I think we're only at like three, because the other ones were predetermined already. I think even the one when I joined the guild was predetermined. This does not look good. Petro is gonna have to carry here. Hopefully he... Okay, he's the one getting attacked, okay. Oh! This is already getting uh, quite hard. Maybe I should just drop Petro and get the other DPS in. Petro is too slow. He needs uh let's get him back in. Because I want to actually see with the the heroes that are given how how far we can get. Now I did not equip any equipment. I might have to because uh when you equip gear, you, uh, you unlock set bonuses and those are pretty important. Increase your survival and damage by quite a bit. This guy says, add me and use my Petra. Petra just solo farm stuff. Seems to be going better with this guy. Just because he uh, is DPS based and he already had a couple levels over Petra. Why? Why do you stop the progress? This is like Hua in Summoner's War, maybe. I wonder how much they actually copied from Summoner's War, like for the skills.
Yeah, at this rate, it looks like it's gonna be over 20 minutes just to uh, your own account. Be like 30 minutes to finish this zone. I've wasted some time to explain stuff and uh, look at skills and all that, but it's gonna be at least 20 minutes. The longest part is those loading screens. I mean, let's say I just get a four star. That is actually, actually good. Yeah, just uh, play through the game with that guy. What's this quest? Is that for something? Oh, there we go. Okay, account level 5. Nope. So by completing this zone, we reach level 5 just before so that's one summon right there and if we get another summon after completing the zone it's worth doing definitely we might even get a third summon I mean we'll see there so I have 25 gems It doesn't take long to actually go and equip gear on all the heroes, it might just speed up the runs and... I just want to see. I think we the boss might be a problem. Well... We're about to find out.
funny, we actually lost our tank. Alright. It was done with no equipment. <clears throat> What happens here? Oh yes, we got an epic summon. All right, beside that. So we unlock the next zone. There's no quest that were completed. When you open a hundred epic core, you get a legendary core. That's pretty cool. But wait, you actually have uh, like 24 hours to to do it. And after 10 legendary, guarantee five star. What? Ugh, so that means it's better to save up and then in 24 hours just go crazy to guarantee yourself like from this four star or maybe five get it's get it's four to five star this this guarantee five this is summon a guaranteed so you don't it's not that you don't you don't choose the hero it's crazy but I guess not that crazy There might be some other trick here to... Oh look, oh, this any floor, you need 50 though. Fourth floor. You know, you could have some strong friends and just like solo stuff and get yourself like this. But when you can't, like you, you reroll the account you lose the data, you lose your account, you lose your friend, so that doesn't work. So let's, let's do that summon. Alright, looks like we're about to reroll again. No, I'm not interested, thank you. Okay, so that was the summons for uh, rerolling. The amount of go uh, gems we have left is just not enough. Now it's like you go through this zone, will be a struggle at the boss. Then after you do that, you, I think you get like two summons, but I will skip it. So all right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, video, you know what to do, and uh, yeah, just uh, like I'll, I'll just make a multiple parts for each reroll and we'll go through uh, through that all right thanks thanks for watching peace